Are you ready? Are you willing? Because it's time. I said it's time to get down. Are you ready? Are you willing? Because it's time to get down. I come to you on the other side of the fence. Because on my side, we got heterosexuals. On the other side, we got homosexuals. Why do they want to keep homosexuals behind the fence? Why can't they come over to the other side? Because America says, no, you are homosexual. You got to be on the other side of the fence. Now, I try to figure out where they get that from. And you don't have to go too far huh, to find that out huh, because huh, it's in the Bible. Huh. Some things in the Bible huh, shouldn't be in the Bible. Huh. But people take them things in the Bible huh, and put it in their mind huh, and it becomes law. Huh. But I'm telling you right now, huh, the only way huh, that homosexuals huh, is going to be able to come on this side of the fence, huh, they have to stand up. Huh. Some of you have to march. Huh. Some of you have to give money. Huh. But some of you have to die. Huh. Because a long time ago, huh, in the 1800s, huh, some strong white women huh, stood up. Huh. I said some strong white women huh, stood up huh, and said slavery no more. Huh. Some of them got lynched. Huh, and some of them got killed. Huh. Before, for that I can go into a restroom, I said a public restroom, and take a shit. That must be crazy, but that's the way it was. Now, I'm trying to tell all my homosexual friends, if you're going to have to talk to talk, you're going to have to walk to walk, because this is America, baby. They ain't giving you nothing. You're going to have to fight for it. You're going to have to die for it. But I'm telling all my homosexual friends, I'm telling you right now, are you ready? Are you willing? Because it's time to get down. We should make a march. We should organize a march on D.C. for homosexuals so we can get this same-sex marriage passed for once and for all. Are you ready to die? I'm ready to die. Are you ready to march? I'm ready to march. Are you ready to step forward? I'm ready to step forward. But who's going to take the first bullet. Who's going to take it to the heart or who's going to take it to the head? But that's the way it is. So I'm calling out everybody now. It's time to go. We're going to have to take that march. We're going to have to take that bus. Because baby, in America, you're going to have to do things. You're going to have to do things. You're going to have to do things. But I'm coming behind this fence and I'm telling all my homosexual friends, come on brother, come on this side of the fence. Now if you want us to go with you're going to have to come through the fence. You're going to have to tell us what you need to do. But let me tell you one thing. It's not going to be hard. It's going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It's going to be rough. It's going to be tough. But we're going to have to hang in there. Can I count on you? Can I count on you? Because I'm telling you right now, before same-sex marriage get passed in America, some of us going to have to go down. I mean go down. I not mean fall down. I mean get shot down. That's the way it is in America. If you want to do it, you got to do it. But I'm saying right now, I'll go. I'll go with you, brother, because I'm not scared. I'm right here. I'm looking through this fence. Do you see me looking through this fence? I'm looking through this fence. And I want you to come with me, brother. I'm calling on you, brother. I'm calling on you, brother. Now, let me tell you one thing before I go. Are you ready? Are you willing? Because it's time to get down. See y'all in D.C. later.